Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1980 Detroit Tigers season replay. Uh, today we have the second game in a three game set with Baltimore. We lost yesterday to a um, rookie pitcher making his career debut. So uh, we gave up a couple home runs uh, early and we were just never able to recover. So today's matchup we have our number five starter, Jack Billingham, who basically has been um, just an innings eater for us. He's not particularly effective, but I'm hoping that uh, he can at least give us five to six good innings today. Um, it's going to be a tough task because he will be facing uh, Hall of Famer Jim Palmer, who uh, is seven and four, and um, he's already had a couple starts against us this year where he's dominated. So I don't have high hopes, but this could be an integral game early on in the season. If you take a look at the standings real quick, with Baltimore only being one game back, uh, they can tie us for first with a win. And also New York's in the mix. So um, if we lose, they could pop into first place. And the last place Cleveland Indians have lost eight in a row. Just to point that out. So um, at any rate, uh, there's the American League standings. So you can take a quick look. I'll give you another look at the National League. The Cubs have finally won at least 10 games. Uh, they're 21 games out in May. So that's, that's pretty bad, obviously. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. As always, I appreciate everyone who follows along. Um, if you're new, Please uh, like and subscribe we, um, in addition to the uh, 1980 Detroit Tigers season replay. We also do uh, baseball card uh, breaks where we open boxes and packs of cards um, regularly, usually at least three times a week. So check those out too. So uh, yeah, here's Jack Billingham. He's two and four. He's got only 10 Ks and 37 innings, so not particularly great. And. Uh, all of our bullpen is available. So let's take a look at the lineup. Jim Palmer, he's a righty. This is our standard everyday lineup at this point. So, um, yeah, uh, everybody looks good. Uh, Carlton Fisk had the day off yesterday because he was listed as tired. So we have him back in the lineup and we are ready to go. So here's Sweet Lou batting leadoff. He's already got a home run against Palmer this year, so maybe we can uh, get some good hits from him. There's a, There he goes, base hit to right. And uh, this game is off to a good start. And that brings up Trammell, and I say it every time, as you know, when Whitaker gets on base, I hit and run. A little delay there, but... Um, it's a good delay because it's a base hit to center and Whitaker advances to third. So we have first and third with nobody out and uh, our co-home run leader on the team with Fisk and Hancock uh, comes up. All we need is a base hit from him. No, he's going to go down swinging. So that's going to bring up Carlton Fisk who um, is definitely prone to hitting into double plays. So let's hit and run since we've got some decent speed. And Fisk is going to ground it to second, but uh, Tram is going to beat it out at second base. And the run scores. So we are on the board versus Jim Palmer. And a runner in scoring position with two outs for Gary Hancock. And he's going to lift it uh, into short right field for the third out. So here's the veteran, Jack Billingham. This is definitely toward the end of his career. Again, I hope I um, can get at least five to six good innings out of him. Glenn Borgman leading off, he had a home run yesterday. Uh, he grounds back to Billingham, that's the first out. It's going to bring up Al Bumbry, who takes a strike three looking. So two down. And here's Hall of Famer Eddie Murray, who rips it to right. And that'll be the third out. So a one, two, three inning for Billingham. It's a good start. Top of the second, here's Lance Parrish. 
Martin is going to hit it into the left center field gap and it's going to be caught for the first out. Bringing up Jason Thompson, who's batting seventh. He pops it up in foul ground to the first baseman. And that's going to be two down. And here's our unsung hero of the first two months, Dave Stegman. There we go, base hit to right field. I sing his praises. He gets a base hit and advances on an outfield error by Ken Singleton. So, runner in scoring position for Richie Hebner, who has been finally coming around. He was just batting 213 not all that long ago. And he's up to 248. Takes a walk from Palmer. So, first and second for Sweet Lou. And Lou goes down swing. So, we can't get another run on the board, but we head to the bottom of the second with a one run lead, one to nothing. And uh, here's Jeff Burrows. He's the cleanup hitter for Baltimore. He grounds out to short for the first out. So here's Singleton, who had the error um, in this top half of this inning. He grounds it to Hebner at third for the second out. And with two down, Doug DeCensis. Doug DeCense. <laughs> I always say that. Um, he gets a base hit to left field, and there's the first hit uh, against Billingham. So, uh, two down, and Phil Garner is up. They called him Old Scrap Wire, and that was his nickname. So, uh, DeSensei De gets a stolen base on Fisk, who, um, as you may have know if you've been following along, I put Fisk in, in the catcher position instead of Parrish. I flipped him between DH and catcher um, to get a better defensive catcher in there, because Parrish was off to a bad start. But um, I think maybe both of my catchers are going to struggle defensively. Tremble pops out to the second baseman to lead off the top of the third. Here is Steve Kemp who in 1979, the year before, was uh, the only all-star for the Tigers. So Kemp pops out, and that leaves it up to Carlton Fisk, who rips it to left. Is that going to be into the gap? No, it's going to be caught by the left fielder Burroughs. That looked like it could be down for a double, but Burroughs makes the catch, and we go to the bottom of the third. Johnny Lowenstein is up, and he's going to hit it to third base, and that's going to be an out. <laughs> I didn't know for a second if that was going to be an error or not. I kind of expected it. I'm going to bring the outfield in for Dave Concepcion, who was uh, traded to the Orioles earlier in the season from the Reds. So he grounds out to short, and we're back to the top of the lineup with Borgman, who grounds out to second. So, a 1-2-3 inning. So, Billingham is doing about as good as I could have expected so far. Threw a bunch of all fastballs to uh, Borgman. So, here's Gary Hancock leading off the top of the fourth. And he goes down swinging. That's three Ks for Palmer. Here's Big Will, Lance Parrish, who's 0 for 4 so far this season against uh, Jim Palmer. And here he is lifting it out to the right center field gap, and it's going to be caught for the second out. Bringing up JT. Oh, he's going to get a base hit up the middle. As it falls in for a single, and with two outs, and a runner on first, we have Dave Stegman, who got a base hit in his first at bat. And he's going to go down swinging on a pitch that was way outside. So um, that's the final out of the inning, and we're heading to the bottom of the fourth. Al Bumbry leading off. Bumbry is going to hit it uh, to right field, and that's going to be the first out. Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer, grounds it back to Billingham, and Billingham gets the second out of the inning. 
Next up is Jeff Burrows with two down. He's also going to lift it into right field. And it's going to be caught by Hancock and Billingham. One hitter through four. And uh, I believe he has no walks. So, I mean, this is a tremendous start for him so far. Richie Hebner is going to line out to center field. One down. Back to the top of the lineup for Whitaker, who's going to get a base hit up the middle. Um, instead of hitting and running, I am going to run and hit. And see if we can't, uh, at worst, get a stolen base. Oh, no! <laughs> that seemed like a good call. Uh, but Whitaker is thrown out, stealing on a curveball. A slow curveball. I have a hard time believing that. But it happened, so no instant replay in this game. Alan Trammell is going to pop out for the third out, and I totally killed our rally, so I hope that doesn't swing the momentum. Billingham's only got 46 pitches, but this is typically where he, the wheels start to come off, so let's uh, play this inning by ear. Uh, Singleton's going to ground out to first, that's going to be one down for Doug DeSensei. Had a base hit in, earlier. And he also grounds out to Thompson at first. So, two down for Phil Gardner. And he's going to line out to second. Wow. That's amazing. I, if, as bad as Billingham has been in his last few starts, he's killing it right now. Um, so, Jim Palmer at 59 pitches. He's got a long way to go before he gets tired. So we're going to have to take it to him here. Uh, unfortunately, Kemp is going to strike out here in the top of the sixth. Bringing up Carlton Fisk, who also goes down swinging. So that's six Ks for Palmer, who, uh, despite giving up that run in the first inning, has pretty much shut us down. Hancock grounds it to third, and that's a 1-2-3 inning. Billingham only at 56 pitches. I think we're going to have to let him go one more. Lowenstein grounds out the second, and that's the first out. But the number nine hitter, Dave Concepcion, with one down. Ooh, Tremel snares it and gets Concepcion at first. Two down for the leadoff hitter, Glenn Morgan. Ah, uh, there's the first walk. So yeah, Borgman does have a pretty good eye. I think it was a 95 rating. So what we're going to do now is we're going to guard the lines. I don't want an extra base hit to uh, score Borgman. But I don't think it's going to matter because Hungry pops up on the infield and we're through six. And it's scoreless. Uh, zero runs is what I'm trying to say for the Orioles. I'm actually blown away by that. When your number five starting pitcher, who you don't really expect much from, uh, comes through, you get a little excited about it. But uh, Parrish pops out to start off the top of the seventh, as does JT. His is in foul ground to the first baseman. It's two out. Bring it up Stegi. Stegosaurus. He's going to ground out to third. And that's going to be it. Another one, two, three. So now we're going to the heart of the lineup. And I'm definitely a little concerned that one blast from their um, muscle men here could tie the game. But... Uh, his slow fastball at 83 miles an hour is keeping the timing off for the hitters, I guess, as Eddie Murray pops up to second. Jeff Burles is going to ground out to short. And here's Kenny Singleton, who in real life, I believe, is an announcer for the Orioles. And he grounds out to short as it showed uh, that Billingham is tired now. So, um, I guess I'm going to have to consider bringing him out of the game as we head to the uh, top of the eighth. Richie Hebner 
crushes it to deep center field. But that's going to be the first out. In yesterday's game, I, for whatever reason, I could not remember that this photograph is actually of Camden Yards. I couldn't come up with the name, but um, I just want to correct my memory, memory of the loss from yesterday. So, one down, and here's Lou Whitaker. Man, I just I almost want to lay, try to lay down a bunt or something just to get somebody on base, because we have been shut down completely. Two down for Tram. Palmer's over 100 pitches now. And there's a walk from Tram. Um, let's see. I guess I'm going to... Man, I'm afraid to steal. I don't want to take the bat out of Kemp's hands. <laughs> well, he went down swinging anyway, so that's the third out. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to take Billingham out. He was amazing and lowered his uh, ERA down to 389. So, fantastic job by him. I'm going to bring in Dave Tobik, who's our righty setup man. And he's going to face Doug DeSensei to lead off the bottom of the eighth. He's one for two against Tobik. Here he pops it up on the infield to my third baseman who um, I should have done a defensive replacement for him and I will in the, in the ninth but I should have done it before this inning. Phil Gardner is going to walk and now we have a runner on first um, for the lefty who has a home run against Tobik. So I'm going to take Tobik out. I'm going to bring in my lefty setup dude. And we're just going to try to get him with this batter, and then I'll bring in Senior Smoke to finish off the game. Oh, man. Lowenstein gets a base hit anyway. Maybe I should never have taken Billingham out, even though he was tired. So here's Lopez, who admittedly has been kind of rough lately. I'm going to bring the outfield in, and I'm going to hope for a double play. Yeah, there we go. Grounded to short. Return two, and we got out of it. Nice job from uh, Lopez inducing a double play. So, Carlton Fisk will lead off the top of the ninth. We're only ahead by one. This has been a, a pitcher's duel as Carlton Fisk hits it back to Palmer. Gary Hancock is up with one out. Palmer is now tired. As, oh, Hancock hits it to the second baseman, Phil Garner, who boots it. And Hancock is safe. So, runner at first for Lance Parrish. We're going to let him swing away. Oh, man. Palmer has Parrish's number. I think that's his third strikeout as um, Palmer tallies his eighth. So here we go, two down for Jason Thompson. He hits it hard on a line drive to center field, but it's going to be caught by the center fielder, Al Bungry. And um, let's go ahead as the, we head to the bottom of the ninth, and we're going to switch out Hebner and bring in Tommy Brookins, whose rating is 14 points higher than um, than uh, Hebner's, so I'm hoping that'll sure up the left side. Whoa, freaking Glenn Borgman. He just crushed it to right center field to tie the game. That is unfortunate. Man, that sucks. Okay, so um, Al Bumbry, we just hit to right. So the melt, oh, and an error by Gary Hancock. So we're going to have to intentionally walk Eddie Murray. Let's see if we can't turn two with uh, the slow Burroughs. His speed is only 66. Murray's is 70. We're going to guard the lines. Because um, there's no point in bringing in the outfield with Bumbry having a 90. He's going to score one way or another on a base hit. And... 
Lopez walks Burroughs, so there's really nothing I can do right now but bring the infield in. So let's see what happens. Yeah, there's another walk to finish off. That is bull crap. Well, man, that was disappointing. Billingham deserved a better fate there. As we lose 2-1, to one, let's take a look at the transactions. Nolan Ryan recording his 3,000th K. Uh, remember, I think Walter Johnson had the strikeout record uh, before Nolan Ryan surpassed it. I can't remember what that number was, but um, I know it's not... It's probably one more season's worth of strikeouts for Ryan before he surpasses it. So, um, at any rate, let's pull up the box score and look at the sad, sad final um, box score numbers. And any second now. Appreciate everyone hanging in there while this loads up. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Just completely shut down. A great pitching performance wasted defensively with... Gary Hancock kind of opening the door there with his error. Um, as always, I appreciate everyone hanging in there and watching the game. And uh, for now, I guess we'll catch you next time. Check out those uh, baseball card videos as well. Have a good night.